Hi guys, welcome to uh, Sewing Back. And my, if you're new here, my name is Brandy. And tonight, or actually it's the day, it's the middle of the afternoon, I'm trying to get my dinner um, prepped and pretty much put together other than heating it up in the oven um, because we have a basketball game during dinner and I want us to be able to come home to a hot meal um, <clears throat> that I cooked. I'm trying to keep us from <clears throat> running through like a drive through restaurant or any of the things. I'm trying to also finish up using several things on my pantry that are going to go out of date at the end of this year. And we only have a few more weeks left. So I decided... <laughs> that I was going to make something I haven't made in a long time and I'm totally doing some hacks. Um, you can totally do a lot of this from scratch if you want, but I'm choosing to take an easy way out. Um, this is a meatless dinner. We are not having meat tonight. Um, so this is also a way that you could do this pretty inexpensively and have it like prepped and ready to go and then heat it up in the oven. So what am I doing? Well, I have one issue in my home. <clears throat> I have children who like Alfredo sauce and I have children who are actually allergic to dairy. So they're not, they don't like the Alfredo sauce. Um, I have, and they tend to be more tomato based. I also am not, I can't eat a lot of Alfredo. Um, it bothers me and can flare up some eczema and stuff like that. So for decades now, when I make any kind of pasta, I have always made two different versions. One that would have a white Alfredo kind of sauce and one that is like a typical marinara sauce. So, <clears throat> what I am doing is we're having a jovial night. <laughs> and this one can be a really neat one to pull off, particularly if you're going to a function where maybe you have people who have allergies, food allergies. And so I'm, I'm doing my hack here. I'm going to do one that is Jovial's um, whole wheat penne pasta. And we are going to use Jovial's gluten-free um, lasagna noodles. And you do not have to cook these. You can use them just like they are in the box to make your lasagna. So we're going to make a Alfredo pasta and a lasagna. Both are meatless. And the simple hacks to these are, this was what I have in my house. And um, I have lots of jarred marinara um, on the back of the jovial box it actually they want you to buy the jovial crushed tomatoes and they tell you to put all the spices so if you get that you could just follow that if you want um, I don't have the jovial crushed tomatoes but I have a lot of marinara sauce and is boiling and before my water boils whenever I've, I've got water in there I always salt my water and I put a little bit of olive oil um, you can do plain olive oil or you can do infused I usually do a little bit of infused if it's an Italian dish which this is and I'm just putting these in here and you want to cook these for about 10 minutes And I told y'all, this is so easy. And so I'm gonna set my timer. And I've got that going. One of the nice things about Jovial boxes, you can compost them. I'm starting to see more and more food things like that where they have that on their packaging that you can compost it. Um, because that saves it from going in the trash and if you want to cultivate worms in your garden um, 
card they love cardboard so that this is a compostable co cardboard that you can easily put in there and it will break down it's a win-win okay so as you can see our it's nice and happy so I'm going to pour this in here get all that out and then we're going to add in our lovely sourdough if you do sourdough you always need spatulas these little spatulas are like your friend whether you're feeding your starter or you're trying to get that cup or half cup, whatever your recipe calls for, out. A helpful trick when you are dealing with a more like a sticky, a little bit sticky dough. I just spray my bowl that I'm going to let it rise in and I get my dough thing. I love this thing. My husband got me this thing and it just, it gives you just a little bit of flour. It's so nice. Oh, this is nice. It's going to be a nice dough. Now, if you're trying to go from gluten-free to eating like ancient grains milled sourdough, you're gonna you're gonna want it to sour more than what I did. But I'm kind of along in my journey, so and you can see this is tacky. Just a little bit. And my dog is digging again. Oh. I know he gets so much satisfaction from digging holes, but we've had so much rain. Y'all, it's just not even. It's sad. We haven't seen the sunshine and I don't even know when. And I miss it. It's bad enough this time of year because you lose so much of your daylight. But then day upon day upon week upon week of rain and cloudy forecast. No sunshine. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. And I may try to bake this free form. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I will see. We will see. It will depend on how much time I have. If I can get it to rise enough and bake before I go, then I will. If not, then I'll do the other way. But all right, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in here in my bowl. And Miss Lucy, she is helping him. But see, Miss Lucy is easy to clean. She's short haired and dark haired. Odie is white. He's a English cream golden retriever. And he's covered in Georgia red clay. <laughs> so I just put the bread into my microwave drawer. It is a great proofer and I'm going to wash my hands and my timer is fixing to beep. See, she's in on it now. As soon as I get distracted, this is what they do. We just put out a big bale of straw after we filled in the holes <laughs> and to try to keep the mud from making it in the house. And 
This is what they like to do. <laughs> if any of you have any suggestions on how to make this stop, I would appreciate them because thus far nothing we've tried has worked. And she never used to dig. And look what he taught her. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I know that they're taking such satisfaction in it. <sighs> but when you almost step in one at night, yeah, not fun. Not fun at all. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you what we're dealing with with our puppies, our furry children, as we like to call them. Okay. So my noodles are done. This one is for the white pasta. This is super easy. I am gonna go ahead and spray my pan. I'm just gonna pull some. I'm try not to dirty up too many dishes. So I'm just gonna put some in this pan. And I'm gonna take my pasta and some Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to kind of doctor this up. Now you could add salt and pepper if you want. This child doesn't necessarily like all that. So, and this is also good for me to make because on Wednesdays we eat at church and he goes to a different church. And um, so he has something to eat on Wednesday nights. And so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, whew, thank the Lord I could open it, the sauce, and I'm going to pour it in, and I'm going to get some milk in just a second, some half, actually I'm going to do some half and half to get the remainder out. And then all I'm going to do when I grate my cheese, I had not grated it yet is I'm just going to put grated cheese on top. And then this dish, all it has to do is be heated up in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. And it's done. It's that easy. And he loves it. Now, you don't technically have to add more. I just think it makes it creamier, especially, I don't know, when you're using a whole wheat pasta, it seems to soak it up a little bit more. And this was a, if you use the Jovial products, they use the um, 12 ounces. So it's not a pound of pot, it's not the 16 ounces. It's uh, 12, so just be aware of that. If you're just wanting to make one of these and not both, and you have a you know bigger family or something, and I'm just adding a little more Parmesan, and then I'll grate. I'm gonna grate up my other cheese and I'll put it heavy on top because there's no meat. Uh, cheese grated up. I'm telling you, when you buy the big block of Azure raw cheddar. This stuff grates up with a with a box grater so easy. <clears throat> so I'm just using this. I told you I'm going to go heavy on the cheese because there's no meat and I want to add more protein. And this is raw. Good cheddar. And yeah, I'm adding it to the ragu, but so what? And all you're gonna do, like I said, is heat this on 350 when you're ready to serve it for about 20 minutes. And first dish done. So if you read the box, it says you're gonna want five cups of Jovial crushed tomatoes. I'm not doing that. I'm using my hack, which is um, two 24 ounce jars of, one is a marinara, the other one is tomato basil, and I'm fixing to mix them in a bowl. And 
don't skip on your marinara like not having enough because if you're doing a no bake um, they'll just be hard as a rock they need the moisture um, to essentially cook the noodles when they're in the oven and if you've ever tried to do a gluten-free noodle where you tried to do them al dente or whatever it's a mess maybe you've had better luck I never had really good luck trying to do it that way and or it just didn't taste very good I'm just gonna add a little water you probably could add a little wine if you had some open I don't and that would add a nice depth of flavor especially like a red wine would be good parsley just to add some more color all right and I'm gonna set that aside I'll mix it in just a minute so into this bowl this one we're going to add our um, Our, well, I don't have ricotta, so we're going to use 16 ounces of cottage cheese, and you need two eggs. So I've got two of my girls' eggs. So I'm going to do the eggs first. These were just laid this week, but I'm having to wash them and put them in the fridge because it's such a muddy mess. It's really hard to get clean eggs when it's just done nothing but rain. Now I am going to doctor this up a little bit with some of my Tuscan blend. I'm going to go ahead and... Alright. If you have ricotta cheese, use ricotta cheese. I just don't. I had ordered this from Azure and I need to use it up. Because this was the one item that did not have a great date when I received it. But still very doable. Alright, so we're going to put this whole container. And this should be really healthy because it's, it's going to have really great protein from the cheese and Let's see, this has brown rice, I think, is how they make their noodles. So there's five, per serving, five grams of protein um, in the gluten-free jovial lasagna noodles. All right, so we've got that. I'm going to put in, I don't know, I guess that's probably about a teaspoon. If you don't have that spice, just an Italian seasoning would be okay. Or none at all because your sauce is really going to have a nice flavor. And then I have some finely grated Parmesan. And I'll put some of this. I think it calls for Parmesan. It says like four ounces of grated. Woo! Okay, that was a bit much. Alright. Alright, that'll work. All right, we're going to mix this up. Ooh, that looks good. I'll probably put a little parsley in here, too, just to add that color. I love that green. And it smells really good. All right, so we got that. And then all you do is it's just a layering job, essentially. hear my dog barking. It's the cat or it's the kids getting out of school. I don't know. I think it's the cat. But those have to live. Alright, so I'm going to take this because I don't want to dirty something else up and I'm just going to blend up these two different marinaras. Okay. 
And again, if you wanted to put like sausage or ground beef, you could. And so that's dinner. I've got it ready. I'm fixing to get my bread in the oven. I already have a video on that, so I'm not gonna worry about showing you that. Um, I will try to grab pictures of how these turned out uh, when I get back home later. And with that, I hope that maybe this inspired you to eat out of your pantry, to um, not feel any kind of shame if you're using some jarred sauce and, and what you have in the pantry. Um, this was a pretty, like I said, pretty economical meal. So um, with that, if you found value, I would love a thumbs up. Um, if you are liking our channel and what you're seeing on our channel, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. Or if you know someone you think who might like our content, please, please share our channel. With that, thank you so much and I will see you next time. All right guys, so my bread's baking. <laughs> And I came out on the side yard so I could see how bad this is with the dogs, with all the digging that they've been doing while I was cooking. And I think they've worn themselves out. But like I said, Lucy's not as hard to get her paws clean. Odie is awful, so it's easier to bring them in the garage on a leash. Oh, here they come. <laughs> Can you see the hole up there? Hopefully y'all can see. Whoa, whoa, hello fella. Hi puppies, how bad are we? Can I see? Oh, Odie, look at your nose. Oh, hello puppy, look at those paws. With all that nice Georgia red clay. How you look, Lucy? She's mothering him. He's just bigger than she is now, so, you know, that's the way it goes. Well, let me go clean some paws and I'll get back to my bread. Look how pretty it turned out. That's beautiful. That would be a great meal to take somebody. Look how pretty that turned out. And this is my son's other one that he likes. And my bread. And so we're fixing to eat dinner and I can't wait.